another workout video. What's up? My name is Faith. We are getting into a full body muscle workout today. Everything is going to be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So it is a Tabata style. You've got two rounds of each. You're cycling through about six moves for upper body. Your second circuit's gonna be lower body. And then your final circuit's gonna be a core focus. So you're gonna go through two sets of each of those circuits, okay? Um, weight wise, you're gonna need something that is light to heavy because of course upper body, you'll notice I'm gonna go a little bit lighter and then lower body is where I'll get into more of my heavy, uh, heavy weights. So I've got options, I've got 12, I've got a 20 pound kettlebell that I will probably mostly use for core. I also have 22 and a half. Um, I'll probably use that more for the deadlifts, the bent over rows, that kind of stuff. You do have full shoulder circles, so you're gonna want something lighter there. I'm a little bit scared that the 12s are gonna be <laughs> a bit too heavy for me, but we're gonna see where we're at. We're gonna see where we're at. Also, if you have it, I'm gonna use a hip band um, if you have ankle weights, that's going to work really, really well. We do have some donkey kicks, some uh, fire hydrants in here too. So something to add a little bit of resistance. If you don't have either of those, that's cool. If you want to put a lighter dumbbell behind your knee, we'll work with that as well. So you should be warmed up. We can use cordless jump rope or we can go sand jump rope or if you have a full jump rope, that's cool. We're gonna see that a little bit throughout here. So, um, if you're already warm, let's jump right into it. If you're not already warm, please do so and then come back. We're gonna kind of breeze through this because my battery's dying on my camera because y'all know me, I'm not always prepared. So, I'm gonna pop an earbud in so that I give myself some music. Um, might turn on some background music for you guys, but we are basically just gonna fly on through this and I will talk you through some of the cues. I will put on my uh, Tabata timer for us so that I know where we're gonna be at. Okay, so the first round that we're gonna be dealing with is hammer curls, delt raises, and jump ropes, and then we're going to pin over rows, full circle shoulder raises, and jump ropes. And that's all you're gonna see for upper body. So real quick, I'm going to show these to you. We'll put on some tunes. No, I don't want that. I don't know what that is. Go away. Um, let's just do, we'll do MGK. Okay. So let me show you guys. Using my 12s, we're going to go into hammer curls. Your elbows stay at your sides. And you're going to row them up. Okay. Then you've got delt raises. So your delt raises, shoulders are back. You're squeezing and lifting these up and together in the back. Okay. Then we're going to go into jump ropes. And then with preferably a heavier weight, you're going to hinge, stick your butt out. We're going to do bent over rows. You are rowing the dumbbell up to your hips, your shoulders, your elbows, all of that's back. And then you're gonna go for full circle shoulder raises. So your palms are facing in front. Your palms are facing in front with the dumbbells and you are circling those dumbbells overhead. Really tough move here. Really good for those shoulders. Go light on these and go slow. And then we've got jump ropes. Okay, so that's your first circuit. We're gonna go through all of those. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, two rounds. We're gonna start our Tabata here. We're gonna breathe. <laughs> all right, so we are starting with hammer curls in 10 seconds. Ready? Hammer curls, sorry. I don't know where I was going with that. Just breathe. 
breathe through it, y'all. We can do this. Inhale, exhale. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Halfway there. We can do this. Focus. Focus on going slow and squeezing that muscle. 10 seconds left. Give me one more. Give me one more. Yeah, good job, guys. All right. We've got 15 seconds to rest. We're going into our delt raises, okay? Shoulders are back. Breathe it out. Go ahead. And delt. And you bend over a little bit more. Really try to squeeze those shoulder blades in the back. Try to touch those dumbbells in the back. You're halfway there. If you want to go heavier with this move, go heavier. I'll stick with my 12s. We're moving through this. Come on, guys. Three, two, and one. All right, we're going to pick up our jump ropes. We're going to jump rope for 45 seconds. We got this, y'all. Let's go. If you need to box or bounce it out, box or bounce it out. This is your active recovery that I've given you throughout the actual circuit. So you're moving, your heart rate's up, you're halfway there. Breathe, stay calm. Do not work yourself up. You've got 10 seconds left. You're doing great, guys, come on. All right, rest. Okay. We're going into bent over rows. I'm gonna pick up my heavier weights for this. I am gonna do single. And then next round, and we'll do the other side. You can do this double if you want. I really want to focus on my lat. And that's why I'm doing a single. And I'm using a 22 and a half here. Halfway there. And I'm rowing it to my hip. You're not rowing it up here to your shoulder pit or your armpit, <laughs> your shoulder pit. I mean, I guess it is. Got 10 seconds left, come on. Two, one more. All right, rest. So we're going for those shoulder circles. These bitches are hard. Go light. Your palms are forward. Shoulders are back. Go. Control them down, don't let them fall. Good job, come on. Halfway there. Good job, guys. Come on. Give me one more. Can you give me one more? All right. Good job. Good job. Pick up your jump rope. We're going back in it to finish up this round. In five. Stretch it out. Two. One.
Come on, guys. Y'all got this. We've got this. We're run one round down. We're gonna see all those moves once more. And this time, you know exactly what you're doing. Okay? So, just flow through it. Just put your mind to it. Keep going. You've got 10 seconds left. We're gonna go back into those hammer curls, okay? Two, one, rest. Get you sit really quick. You've got 10 seconds left. My long hair girls, I feel y'all's pain. All right, a hammer. Come on guys, last, last time we're doing hammer curls. Halfway there, last time. Your shoulders down. If you're listening to music, just drown into it. Two, one. Okay. Put it down a second. Stretch it out a second. You're going back to your delt raises. Pick them up. Go. throughout the lower body as well. But it's a good way to bump up your heart rate and gain control of your breathing. In three, two, one. All right. We're going to our bent over rows. I'm gonna switch my side. Y'all can do your doubles again if you were doing doubles. Go. Focus on pulling it with control. You're not cranking it, right? You don't wanna open up. You want your shoulders to stay squared to the ground. We're halfway there. Ah, fudge. Come on, guys. We've got 10 seconds left. We can do this. We will not see this move again. Here's three. Here's two. Hell boy. All right. We've got those shoulder circles. One more time. Okay, pick them up. Stupid circles. Go. Here's two. 
Heavies are tough. They're tough for me too. Shoulders are hard. Take a second. Give me two more. One. Two. Good job. Fudge. We're burning through this. Ready? Go. Come on, guys. This is it for upper body. And then we rest. And then we go down to lower. You're halfway there. Keep going. You can do this. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ten seconds left. Give in to it. Just bounce. Two. One. Good job, guys. You have two minutes to rest. Okay? Your first round, you're gonna start on one side. You're staying in your lunge position. You're just going up and down. You won't lock out at the top. You'll keep a soft bend in your knee. The next round, you'll switch sides. You can hold your weights. After that, you have your weights in your hands. You're going for a stiff leg deadlift. Down to your shins. You're gonna want a heavy weight for that. After that, jump rope. After that, you're gonna get on all fours. You have your hydrants on one side. Excuse me, your hydrants. Then you're going into your donks. Then your jump ropes. You're staying on one side, and then you'll switch. So it's static lunge, deadlift, jump rope. Hydrants, donkey, jump rope. Weights, weights, jump rope. Band, band, jump rope. You have 30 seconds left. Get some water. Choose your weights. For lunges, I'm gonna go 12. Deadlift, 22 and a half. I have my band, and we're gonna get it. I am going to start with everything with my right leg. So my right leg's gonna be forward on my lunge. My right leg's gonna be doing the work. You have five seconds. Pick up your weights for your lunge. Shoulders back, go. Static lunge. You're staying in this position. You're squeezing your glutes. You're digging that front heel in to the ground. You are going up and down, maintaining your balance. You've got some width between your legs. You're not on a balance pole. You're halfway there. You are squeezing. You should be burning. You should be shaking. You've got 10 seconds left. Breathe. Two and one. Put them down. I'm gonna pick my heavy weights up. Four, three, two, deadlift. Your back is flat. Your glutes are out. There is the smallest little bitty bend in your knees. You're going down until you feel that stretch in your glutes, in your hammies. And then you're coming up. You're tucking that pelvis under. You've got 10 seconds left. Give me two more. Here's one. Two. Good job. Put them down. Grab your jump ropes. Grab a snip if you can. You've got five seconds. 
go. We move. We keep moving. Next. We're putting on our bands. We're using that right leg. We're starting with hydrants. You're gonna get on all fours. You're keeping your back flat. You are squeezing that ass. If you don't have a band, stick a weight behind your knee. Use ankle weights. If you don't have any of that, it's okay. Just do body weight. Just squeeze. All right. Put your band on if you have it and get down. You've got 10 seconds. It's gonna go right above your knees. Move that. All fours, okay? Go. Stabilize.
deadlift. Zone out. Keep going, guys. You're halfway there. Okay. You can do this. Come on, you got 10 seconds left. Give me three more. One. There's two. Here's three. Oh, good job. All right, you've got a jump rope. Then we're going to our bands. Ready? Go. So there will only be one more jump rope. Jump rope is not in the core section, FYI. Keep going guys, you're almost done. And after this, you're halfway there, after this, after the band and that jump rope, you get a two minute rest. So, Push for that, right? You've got 10 seconds left. You've got three, two, and one. Put your band up. We're working on our left side. Okay, We're starting with the hydrants. Go. Control it down. Don't just let it fall. You're halfway there. Come on, guys. Keep pushing. If you have to, you can come down like this. You've got three and two and one. I know. I know it's sore. Alright, you've got your donkey kicks on that side. Almost done, guys. Come on. Flex your foot and kick. Eleven. You guys are halfway there. Ten seconds left. Come on. Two more. Good job, guys. All right, we've got our jump ropes. Get it off. dying so I might do core for y'all separately so just do this finish up you guys kill it so proud of you you're halfway there finish it up control your breathing that's it You've got ten nine here's eight Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. Rest. I'll film your core separately and I'll link it to this. Take care, y'all. 
Okay guys, I'm back from our ab section. So we are going to need a set of light to medium weights here and a heavier weight kettlebell or dumbbell. Um, I'm pulling up our timer. I'm also pulling up our actual moves. The core workout's a little bit different, whereas in your lower body and your upper body, we went through, we had like six moves and we went through everything twice. In the core section, we only have 12 moves. So we're working 45 seconds on, we have a 15 second rest in between each move, but we'll only see each move once. Um, unless it is where you have a move and you have to work each side, then we're going to work each side once, if that makes sense. So there's 12 different moves in this. So I'm not really going to go through and actually show you the moves. I'll just tell you we're doing a weighted zombie setup. We have a weighted leg raise. You're going to need something really light for that. I am going to use a 12 because I've been trying to work my weight up. Um, we have weighted hip dips on each side, oblique toe touches on each side. We have a weighted bicycle, weighted V-ups, weighted side bends each side, Russian twist, and an overhead sit-up. So that's a lot, right? Okay, so I'm going to start our timer. We're going to jump right into it with our weighted zombie sit-up. Choose a heavier weight for these. I'm going to start our little timer here. We're going in 10 seconds. Your weight is going to be over you and you're going straight up. Okay? And go. So your back, your lower back is in the ground. You're not going up like a crunch. You're going straight up. Your weight should be directly over your chest. Your feet are on the ground. Your Pulling those abs in, exhaling to raise those shoulder blades off the ground. We're halfway there. You want that weight over your chest, not over your face. Ten seconds left. Two and one. Okay. Next, we are going to go into our weighted leg raise. <laughs> so you're going to place that dumbbell between your feet. You want it over your hips. You're keeping your back in the ground. You're lowering and raising it up back over your hips. <sighs> These are really tough. You have to. Drop the weight. And I'm sorry if y'all heard that noise. That's my heat, but my vid's closed. And my vid is directly above you guys, so I apologize. 10 seconds left. Come on, guys. Last time you'll see this move in three, two, and one. Good job. Okay. Ooh, that's a toughie. Next, we're going into our weighted hip hips. You're gonna grab that dumbbell. You're placing it on your hip. Your one leg bent, your top leg straight. Raise the hip up, dip it down, raise it up. Your elbows directly underneath your shoulder. Breathe, really tighten those obliques, really pull them up. And we'll see, it's been a bit chilly. Let's see if y'all can see my abs. We're gonna flip it over to do the other side. Bottom leg thin, top leg out straight, and raise it up. Squeeze 
knees that oblique. Raise chest. Hip. Your hand is on the weight just to support it, to keep it from rolling.
stand, pull up, crunching on that opposite oblique. Really bend, stretch it out. Try to keep your shoulders back. Try to keep your neck neutral. Your shoulders shouldn't be pulling up the kettlebell. That's not what ha what's happening here. Your obliques are pulling you back. Set it down a second. We're going to switch hands, switch sides. How's this for a warm up? I got to do my workout next. Pick it up and go for the other side. Some people fight that abs should be done at the beginning of your workout. I understand using that first strength to do your ab workout. I normally end up doing mine at the end, but today, because we ran out of battery yesterday, this is at the beginning of my workout, so. Good little warm up for me anyways. We have seven seconds left. Here's three, two, and one. Put down. We have a Russian twist. I will keep the heavy weight. I'm gonna keep my heels on the floor. We're gonna pick that weight up, shoulders back, lean back, twist. Twist to each hip. If you want to bring your feet up, you want to bring your legs straight. I feel I get more range of motion when my legs are bent and on the ground. Come on, I'm going for it. Yes, five seconds left, guys. Come on, three, two, and one. Now, we'll switch out for a slightly lighter weight. We have a sit up overhead press. We're going to lay back, weight at our chest. We're going to sit up and press. Go. Sit up, press. So, really working your abs, working your shoulders. This is your last move, so give it your all. You have 30 seconds of it left. Breathe. Slowly lower, don't just flop. Back, we are not fishes. Flopping. Ten seconds left. Lower. Give me one more. Press. Slowly lower. Awesome job, you guys. You killed that workout. That was your core workout. If you're not really feeling it for, for whatever reason, either go through it again or you can always use a heavier dumb, dumbbell, dumbbell. <laughs> you can always go up in your weights um, if you're really still you know, not feeling that. Continue to progress in your weights, add more resistance to your abdominal region. Using weights also really helps to engage your core a lot of times when we're trying to work on the abdominal region. We're using other muscles other parts of our body to actually perform the movements like our shoulders, our back, our neck. And not only is that bad for those body parts, but it's not engaging our core. So even if you're using like a light weight, that's adding resistance and engagement to that core that you're otherwise not getting. So 
continue to progress. I'm so proud of you guys for sticking with this today. And I am going to go ahead and sweat out my actual workout. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.